This movie is about autofill. Autofill is a convenient way to fill a group of cells, a range of cells, with an established series. The series can be established with one data reference, which is where we'll start, or you can stagger the reference and skip items, even go backwards in the series, as you'll see. We can use autofill to fill down, we can fill to the left, and we can fill to the right, and we also can use autofill to copy formulas. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. I have four schedules set up here to demonstrate autofill. And as I said, we're going to establish a series with one data point. And you can't do this all the time, but there's, there's many data points, dates of the week, months, dates, times, that will establish enough information for autofill to then fill a series, in this case, beginning with in A4 March. To activate autofill, there's a fill handle at the lower right-hand corner of the cell. Hover over that till you get the plus sign. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag down. And there's a screen tip that tells me that autofill is going to fill A5 with April and then A6 with May, June, July. And when I release, that's exactly what happens. Autofill also works on abbreviated months, days of the week beginning with Wednesday, so it'll fill in wherever you start and the abbreviated form of the days of the week. June 1st, 2012, second, third, fourth, a date that's formatted in the long form, second, third, fourth, fifth, times 10 o'clock p.m., 11, moving forward by an hour, military time, going to 13, quarter one. Excel knows that there's four quarters in a year, and when we get to the fourth quarter, we go back to the first quarter. If we start at the fourth quarter, and QTR is recognized as a quarter, Excel begins over again, one, two, three, four, even a Q is enough to designate the quarter. Four, back to one, two, three. And a sequence that has a number in it, in the same format that we see here at the end, will create enough information for autofill to establish a sequence. Oddly enough, that doesn't happen with a standalone number. It fills in the cells with just that number unless you press and hold the control key. And then autofill will fill in sequential numbers. If you have a text entry, you grab the autofill. There really isn't any sequence that can be established beginning with the word text. So logically, autofill just copies the word text. The next thing we can do with autofill is that once we establish a sequence, with two data points, in this case March, May, I skipped April. Autofill will continue the sequence by skipping June and showing July, skipping August and going to September, and so on. And the abbreviated form of the month works. The days of the week work the same way. The abbreviated days of the week work the same way. I'm skipping a month in between. That sequence continues with autofill. I'm skipping a large block of time, and autofill continues to skip the same number of days in between each of the sequence of dates. I'm backing off a half an hour, going back in time to 9, 8.30. In this case, I'm going back in time three hours, and autofill has no problem with that. Quarter one, quarter three. I'm skipping a quarter. I'm going back in time, 3, 1, it should be 3, 1 again with Q. I'm adding 8 each successive data point, 18 to 26. I'm adding 4, autofill continues to add 4. I'm subtracting 4, and autofill continues to do that. Autofill has a lot of flexibility, too. I can drag autofill left. And since we read from left to right, autofill assumes that the sequence is going to be read from left to right. So as we travel to the left, 
we're going, in this case, back in time, November, December, January. I can also autofill to the right and go forward in time, and I can, like we have already seen, travel down to go forward in time. Autofill also works with formulas. I have a sum formula. I'm summing R15 to R21, and the total of that column above the active cell is 2,879. I can grab the fill handle and drag over three cells and release, and I've copied my sum formula so that this is the total of the values that are shown in S15 to S21, T15, T21, U15, U21, and autofill also will do the same thing when you drag down. In this case, I have added a cross, and this number foots and cross foots the schedule. So autofill is a convenient way to fill in a series. Many times a series can be established with one data reference. If you have a series that you want to jump around with or skip items with, skip a day, skip an hour, skip an hour and a half, what have you, establish two data points and use autofill to fill in the remaining part of the series. As well as going down with autofill, you can also go to the left or to the right and the series will be established accordingly. And autofill also works with formulas. 